friends. I'm just going to do this random live and um, nothing planned here. I'm just painting in between big jobs that are drying and so I've pulled out this little the top of this little stool that uh, I've been meaning to paint for a long time and gorgeous little thing that's got a beautiful base on it and lovely legs and um, so I'm just going to chalk paint it. I'm trying out some chalk paint at the moment from Artisan and um, yeah I'm trying the different colours. So this one is a beautiful creamy colour which is very similar to the creams I would use. So I'm using that on this little stool. So I'll paint away and if you join me that's great. <clears throat> Got any questions just shout out otherwise I'll just paint away. been a bit of a prep with this one all this loose paint but I wanted to keep the rustic feel so I haven't sanded back smooth on this one I'm keeping all the character that antique character just using up the paint off my stirrer first Waste not, want not, as my mother used to always say. Probably still does. So a lot of this paint was flaking off, so I had to give it a good scrub and vacuum and knock out the paint that dropped between the two layers of rattan or rattan, however you say it. Um, I've got, I'm using a, just a soft generic brush. I don't know why, but I tend to go for the small brushes. I probably could use a bigger brush, but I just, you know, less drips, more control. And I feel like I'm kind of painting a painting a bit more. Maybe that's it. So if you jump on, say hi, tell me what you're up to today. Apart from watching me right now, where are you from? So I'm going to tip it around so you can see that better. Covering pretty quickly and easily, which is always a good thing with white. It's school holidays, and I've got kids home with the flu, and so they're they're in their rooms watching Netflix and croaking. different already hey it's amazing little pieces like I'm in the kitchen right now which sometimes I set up in here when I can when I can get to it um, and if there's a TV on or something that you know I'm meant to be doing maybe TV time I can still do a bit of painting and it's amazing what you can get done in just like an hour or something it's another job done or part of a job done if it's small enough to be on the kitchen bench Because I only use um, 
eco stuff, eco friendly, safe stuff in my kitchen though. Very careful what I bring in here, otherwise it's laundry. I don't use many things that are not not nice and safe. I think our our world is a bit too polluted as it is. So this is a bit of a pre-lunch splash with the paint. Then I'm back into my big painting room, or not big painting room, but my painting room, to work on a bit more on a big wardrobe that I'm working on. It's getting closer. It's got a very technical finish that I'm, I never look forward to, because it's a bit like riding a racehorse with that finish. You just hold your breath and go like the wind to try and make it all nice and, and even and so forth on big surfaces, it's really tricky. I'm doing that today. So this is kind of warming me up to painting. While the kitchen is vacant, which is, as mums and dads out there will know, is not very often on school holidays. I think they just eat and eat and eat. So this has got chips out of it. Like I said, I wanted to keep the integrity of the an antique finish. However, I will, I will sand it as I go, so it won't be quite as chippy. Um, but I don't want it to look like a new piece. So, you know, I don't want it to look like a manufactured piece. I do like, love that aged patina look. So we're nearly all the way, almost all the way around the front. Steering it in front of the camera. So it had a webbed base and I'm going to put a hard base in. So my father has kindly cut out a section of wood here for me, a nice sturdy section of wood that I'll be able to attach a seat to. And I'll pick something nice and special for it. I do actually have a piece of fabric that I, a little oddment that I've been saving for something like this in um, blue and white. So I'm thinking that might be what I'm doing. Very addictive chalk painting, painting furniture, as many will attest to. You start out doing a couple pieces for yourself, the next thing you know, you're doing a heap. It's just the transformation. When you see something that's really neglected, ready to be turfed or looking pretty ugly, and then it gets completely transformed with paint. And paint finishes it's just very addictive to see that transformation and how simple you can get that transformation simply I should say simply so this original color is like a cream I'm not a creamy person I like off-whites not cream so much, or beigey whites, you know, that linen kind of white. They're my favorite whites, so not cream, not buttery whites. And this is a nice neutral off-white, got a bit of warmth, but not, um, not buttery. Oh, we've got a little bit of dust there. Didn't quite get it all with the vac. Okay. Okay. 
You gotta be careful when you load up your brush when you're doing this kind of cane work because if you get too much, it'll kind of, it goes on the other side of the cane and, cane and then drips down. The good part of the, this is the original color is close in tone to, and color probably, to what I'm using. So this would have originally been sprayed. The manufacturer would have sprayed it. And um, so therefore it's inside the cane. So if you look up closely, um, you can see it. So if it was black, or oh, black probably would have been all right, but if it was say green or a color, and I was to do this, you probably see it through there. So, you still in shot, yeah. So you can spray cane, it's probably easier. You've got to control your spray, but it's probably easier, but it's messy, takes a lot of room, big clean up. And seriously, how long did that take me? I think I'd rather hand paint this one. So that's the top done. I'll just get the base now. Let this dry. Just getting into the cracks there. I'll show you the base. So this is our base. I'm gonna to have to clean it because I haven't done that. I wasn't anticipating on but paying that just yet, but I think I will. That's our base with our legs. So it's a pretty dainty thing. Just get the cloth. These were originally cleaned down and then they've sat in a dusty spot so now there is little bits on this that I am going to fill. I'll, I'll do that now because I know the stuff I used I use will be okay underneath the paint straight away They'll, they can dry together I'll still be fine with the first coat okay some little bits have come off it is important to wipe them off. Well, it's important to me that I wipe it off. That messes with me if I don't. So there's little slight cracks in it. It has actually been glued um, inside. So they are stuck, but the cracks are still there. So I'll just show you what I do. I've got a big thing of PVA here. Like I said, inside those cracks, um, it's just where they're, this is loosened a bit. Um, they're not loose now, they are glued, but they, but I like to add just a little bit more strength. So I get a bit of glue and I usually pour it into a container, not one of the kitchen implements, but who wants to wait for that? So I just press a bit of glue into that crack. Again, so glue shrinks back and absorbs in and sticks inside. 
I've still got those cracks. Let's just check it. You've got to watch your smooth it as you go because it if it dries too quick on you then you'll get lumps. I've been using this Lessential Botanics Embossing Stencil Paste. Um, it's really good as a, uh, as a fine filler. I'm at the end of it. So you see it's starting to dry. I've just about finished the container. It's been opened so many times. So I'm just adding, I've added just a little bit of water to get the end of it. Don't want it too sloppy. Just push that in with the glue then smooth it with your finger this up so you can see a bit closer okay This can be sanded later if you want, but I know I'm going to build the paint up a bit, so I'll probably end up, I'll just do my first coat, then give it a bit of a sand, um, and then paint again. I can see by the top that I just did, it's probably only going to need a couple of coats, which is awesome. For anyone that's just popped on, this has not been painted yet. We just did the top before with the rattan backing. So first inject glue into the cracks if you can, let it dry and then seal the top part like this. As long as it's secure, it doesn't need any bracing, you're right to do it like this. So there, embossing paste, not just for embossing. I think that's it. What you can also do is if you have a bit of loose stuff, like this actually gets asked a bit on groups, I see there's all different responses, but my response would be, if you get, if you've got a bit of loose stuff, um, try and get as much as you can, but there's some pieces that just want to keep chipping off, right? And if if you don't want a super, super, super smooth finish, you're still after that, that antiquing look, do what I just did with the cracks. Wipe it over with a PVA or a good glaze. Sometimes I use the, the top coats or the glaze from Essential. Just wipe it over or even a flat sealer. So 
So I'm essential and artisan have a nice flat sealer. You can wipe it over that and then um, just get the stencil paste and just blend that into it. And you have got a smooth finish. And you can build it up as much as you want and then sand it back and it holds all that together. So it's just keeps the integrity better than just ploughing over it um, with paint. If you know that that's kind of potentially going to chip off. And you'll get a feel for that, you know. It's really difficult to judge other people's furniture online and give advice sometimes until you actually touch a piece or get up right close so you can see. But usually touch. It's, it's um, until you actually feel what's going on it's a little bit tricky to to give that advice um, with you know 100% conviction that that's going to work for that that piece or that person so and every all products are different too so not all wax is the same not all paints are the same mineral paints aren't the same as chalk paints you know some waxes have solvents, some don't, so they dry differently. So there you go. Now that's going to dry really quick. In fact, it's starting to. So what I could do is go around here and start painting, avoiding those spots, give it a bit more dry time, and then go over it. If it's kind of touched to the dry, I could go over the, with the first coat straight away and it still should dry like the chalk paint itself won't seal off and stop the drying of what I've put in the cracks so so that would be fine and sometimes if I'm in a hurry um, to move forward as long as that's dry that sometimes I'll do but only on the first coat because it still needs air it's still, it's still everything's porous and everything's drawing the air into it um, like everything that's porous that's over top of the glue or anything. So it'll still draw, draw in air, dry and um, not prevent the glue from drying nicely. So do that and then I'll just give it some time before I go into the second coat. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope you got a lot of tips from there. I try and share as much as I can even with just a little simple thing like that. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have to... Oh, hang on, there's a question. What did you call that paste? Oh, it's Essential Botanics Embossing Stencil Paste. So I just use the natural colour. And that's how much I do go through it. So it's um, I don't use it on really big cracks. Like I'm really, I wouldn't fill half a chewed out leg or something like that. Um, but... But yeah, on finer stuff that I use it. I mean, you may be able to use it like that. I don't use it like that. I have to be careful what I say because it could be used like that, but that's not what I use it for. So I use it for raised stencils um, and and filling. And it's kind of handy to have the, you know, something that does is multi-purposed. And it does last a while, but and very handy to have. So if you don't know, I've got the essentials on my website. So if you want to support these videos, small business, work a mum, you know, all that, all that thing, um, that's where you can go and grab some and help me out. Okay, guys, uh, please share. Please share and help me by sharing if this was helpful for you, if this was um, helpful to any of your friends and enjoy your day i hope there's something creative in it and um, that sparks joy um, bless you guys and i'll catch you next time bye